ポケットチェケット How is everybody this morning? Good. Alrighty then. <clears throat> Let's start off our morning. Let's start off our morning with. Hmm. Uh, Manjaris girls. Lev's gonna pray. Manjaris is gonna do Shima. Lev's gonna do the Ten Commandments and he agreed. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for everyone. Thank you for letting us. Thank you for letting us be here. And thank you for giving us another day of life. And help us to pay attention and 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 listen to to what what Rabbi is teaching us today. And help us not to get distracted. And in Yeshua's name, Amen. Shema Israel, Yehovah Eloheinu, Yehovah Echad, Baruch Shem Kevon, Malkuto, Le'olam Bayed, Hear Israel, the Lord our God is one. Olam, Hebrew commandments are Anohi Yehovah Elohecha, Lo Yelecha Alpi Atayim Alpinai, Lo Tzitza Et Shem Yehovah Elohecha Yashav, Bekor Et Yom HaShaba Akacha, Kabe Et Abicha Ve Et Imcha, Lo Tzitza, Lo Tzina, Lo Tzignob, Lo Tzane Gleka Et Shekev, Lord, talk mode. Lord, talk mode. All oh, righty, you children. It's time to be counted for the census. Who's ever not here, raise their hand. <laughs> Who's ever here, raise their hand. Who's ever not sure, put both hands in the air. <laughs> All right. Benjamin, read the sentence that's on the screen. Everyone everyone 20 years old or older counted in the census. 603,550 men. Thank you, Mr. Benjamin. All right. What is a census? Let's see if Lev can explain what a census, census, not a census, a census is. What do you think a census is? It's an interesting thing because they might be doing one soon. A census is counting the number of people in a nation. Okay, let's see if uh, Marley agrees with you. Are you awake today, Marley? Have enough sleep. Got enough of your beauty sleep. Mm. Yep. Yep. Okay, tell us what the census is there, Rabbit. Well, census is I don't know what a census is, actually. Oh, um, a census is usually a counting of the people. Counting the people. Okay. Let's see. Yeshua, what is a census? A census is how many girls, how many boys, and how many dads, how many moms, how many babies. What about how many birds? 
No. No, because we're going to eat the bird. I'm going to eat you, bird. All right, let's see. Benjamin's waving his hand. A census is when there is a census. A census is when you count the people, like how much young men, how much men, how much young women, how much women, and how much children and and babies and old people. Very good, everybody. Very good. Everybody got it right. Okay, except for Marley, since she had no idea what a census is. She didn't get it right. All right. So, yeah, it's a census. It's the counting of the people, and it's all the different groups here. In this particular sense, the Lord said, uh, counted the census of 603,550 men. Okay. Why do you think um, God would want that done? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's start back with Lever. Now let's go to Riet. What do you think the Lord wants that done? What do you think there, little kid? Maybe because he just wants to know the amount of people that are in the nation. Well, doesn't he know everything? Well, maybe he wants... Maybe he wants Moses to know how many are in the nation. Maybe he wants Moses to know how many are in the nation. That's, that's good. Maybe he's throwing a party and he wants to know how many hamburgers are there. And kosher hot dogs, Hebrew national hot dogs. Maybe he wants to know how many men are, because men, you know, they like hamburgers, right? Yeah, beef burgers instead. Beef burgers. <laughs> Very good. Beef burgers. All right, Lev, what do you think? Why do you think Jehovah wants uh, the, these people to be counted? What, is he throwing a party or something? Lev? Sorry, we were, we were discussing this, the census. Why, go, why would we take the census? Um, some, some were for war. Some were for war. Okay. Why, why, why does he want that to be known? Because you know how they're going to later on fight, um, like, through, like, different nations? I think that's what the guys were going to be used for. It's all men are used for is fighting. It's all all the lemma lemma kids are used for is Michael and Kevin. That's all they do is fight. No, they wouldn't really fight in a real war like now in their age. Oh, let me see. Yeshua, what do you think? Yeshua and Hadassah, what do you think? Why do you think God wants the uh <coughs> the people counted? Because why? 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 Why are we counting the birds? He he wants everybody to be in his presence. He wants everybody to be what? He wants everybody to be in his presence. Well. Yeah, so what's he throwing a party? He wants to know how many chairs he got? How many balloons to get? No. How many bags of french fries? To be, to be in the presence of, of his heart. But doesn't he know that already? Doesn't he know who's there? Doesn't Jehovah know everything? Yeah, he knows everything. He knows. 
one he wants to know how many boxes of crayons we get. It's a pretty big oven for all those people, right? Oh, he's getting a cake, and he wants to know how many pieces of cake to get. What do you think, Sheva? Sheva? What do you think God is counting everybody? Is he having a party? He's having a party, Ellie? <laughs> yeah, God's having a party, and he wants to know how much cake to get? I guess. Yes. Yeah, what kind of cake should he get? <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see. Arlena, why why does why does Jehovah want us to count the people? Is he throwing a party or something? Does he want to know how many donuts to get? What do people don't, you know, he wants to know how many Boston cream donuts to get? Oh. Boston cream? Yeah, like, is, is he having a party or something? Why do you think he wants the people counted? How many cans of Nutella he needs to get? Okay, Riette, Riette's got her hand up. Let's go over to Riette. So I was thinking, maybe he wants to see how many people get into heaven. Won't they have to be dead? Yeah. But he's count so he's counting alive people. Yeah. So, why do you think he's counting, React? And why is he counting a certain grouping of people? But re read the sentence. Read the sentence out loud. Everyone 20 years old or older counted in the census. Six, 603,559. Why do you think he's counting 20 years old and older men? Why well, think... wait, Adrian, I'm asking the younger kids first. I'll get to you. But men are usually used in battles. And I don't think a below 20 years old would be used for battles. Very good, very good. Okay, that's what we're doing. He's counting the men for battle. Okay, now I'm going to go to the older kids for a little bit more. Okay, I'll start with a Mr. Adrian. Mr. Adrian, why do you think he uh, says 20 years old and older, but today, if you want to, once you're 18, once you graduate high school, you can go into like Lila's, Lila's brother, Ariel, once he graduates high school. I well, think well, if you're twenty, if you're twenty years old or older, I believe isn't that the age that you're, or I mean, for a man that can go to war? Yeah, well, why is he choosing twenty instead of eighteen? Like, if you if you lived in Israel today, once you graduate high school at, at seventeen or eighteen, you serve. It's a mandatory that every young person serve in the military. Why does God say 20 years old instead of 18? What do you think there, Mr. Adrian, Mr. Smarty Pants? Well, uh, they're now a little older and more mature. So why do we why do we say 18 now, Mr. Smarty Pants? 
Yeah, I'm not sure why 18 is as the number chosen either. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Victoria. Victoria. What, what, why do you think it's it's 20 years old and older? Why do you think he's counting the men 20 years and old for war? Why, why is he not saying 18? I think he's counting like 20 years or older because like 18 is mostly just like when you get out of your mom's house and you go to your friends and start looking for a job but that's not the age that you would really go to war because you're still like young and you're not really an adult you're still in your teenage life so so 20 is like the perfect time for you to know what when to go to war because you would know the decision and you would stay with that decision. But I thought a lot of teenagers think they know everything. Don't you know everything? You're a teenager. Well, I don't know any everything. You don't know everything? No. Okay, well, let me ask another teenager. Leia, Leia, wh why do you think uh, the Lord is uh, uh, saying 20 years and older? Why isn't he doing 18 like we do now? Don't teenagers know? Um, well, when you're 18, you're still a bit immature. And at 20 years old, you are a full adult. You are able to handle things that an 18-year-old cannot. You, you, when you're 20, you can handle things an 18-year-old is not, but in those two years, you're going to have a lot of difference? Um, well, maybe a bit more experience, but not really. But 18-year-olds, I feel that now some of them that I see don't really know what they're doing. So, um... I think 20 years and older, 20 years and older, when you're 20 years old, according to God, you are now officially an adult. Yeah, well, I agree with that, but I'm trying to find out, like, what you guys think, you know. Don't you know everything, Leia? You're, you're like a teenager. No, I don't know everything. Don't, don't you always talk back to your mother? No, I do not talk back to my mother. Doesn't Ben always talk back to your mother? He does not. He's going to be scared. What about y Yvonne or Vanessa? No. Don't they, don't they think they know everything? No. W well, what about your brother? No. He does not talk back to me. Does he, does, he, does he think he knows everything? I mean, no. Let's see, uh, Mia, Mia, why do you think the Lord is choosing 20 instead of 18? Like, you know, right now, Ariel, you know, Lila, Lila's brother is going to go into, he's going to go in the army when he's 18 years old. Why, why does the Lord think it's not good to do 18 but 20, Mia? Why, do I, why does God say that? It's because, I, first of all, 20 is when you, is when you leave your teenage years, which means why God says 20 is because you can't just be physically an adult. You have to also think mentally as an adult. Now, what I mean by that is that by teenagers, sometimes they, they do some senseless some senseless jokes or some senseless choices. Well, at 20, you you think better and you, and you act better and you think before making some sort of dumb joke or doing some bad choice. Or some choice that that a teenager would make and would be like, oh, I, I should not have promised that. An adult will think first. I mean, here, a godly adult will we'll think twice before doing some sort of promise. You have to, you have to think first before, before, like, anything happens. Yeah, we're supposed to do that now, but, but as an adult, you're more mature than a teenager. And an adult is... A 
ungodly adult is wiser than a teenager. Hmm. It's pretty interesting. You got anything to say now, Mr. Adrian? Now that you've heard some other wisdom, why do you think the Lord chose 20? Do you know anybody who's 20, Adrian? You're muted. No, I don't believe so. You don't know anybody who's 20? Nope. I know who's older. Who's older? Well, there's a mom, and I am very good friends with her. Mom, your your our, mom is older than 20? Yeah, our friends Not are older our mom, than but 20. someone else's mom. How old is that person's mom? She wouldn't tell me. She wouldn't tell us. How old do you think she is? 65? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so so what we're, we're looking at here, and why we're looking at the census, everybody, is that there are something called stages in your life. Stages in your life, okay? What do you think a stage in your life is, Ben? What do you think a stage in your life? Like, you go through a certain stage in your life. So, like, when I was born, I was at, like, a baby stage. I was an infant. And then once I got older, I was a toddler. That, like, I could walk, I could talk. And you, pooped and, then, in your diaper, and you pooped in your diaper. And a toddler? Wait. No. I used underwear. Okay. <laughs> Back on this. Okay. Um. So once I got older, I was... childhood and I and and then once I grow older I'm in the I'm in the I'm a teenager you're a teenage and, mutant ninja turtle yes <laughs> all right well, well let me ask you a question in, in these different stages were you were you doing different things in these stages that you are yes. in? like like, when I was, like, a baby, I didn't know how to walk, talk. I didn't even know how to tie my shoes. I didn't even know how to draw. You don't, you still don't know how to tie your shoes. I do know how to tie my shoes. Then why are they always undone? I don't know. <laughs> That's bad. Okay, so go to the next stage. Okay, so then once I'm a toddler, I know how to walk. Talk and yeah, that's it. And then, so once I get to the next stage, I I'm in my childhood, so I already know how to do these things. I already know how to draw and talk, walk, tie my shoes, and and yeah. And then, so once I'm in my teenagers, and something else happens. Like, you're in puberty. No, puberty is before teen. Well, I guess you could call it in teenager. Okay, so, so you're learning all these things. So why do you think Jehovah says at 20 the men can go off to war? What do you think, it, what do you think is going to happen then, Ben? What do you think happens to your body or your mind at 20? At 20, you get, like, more mature. You get more smarter. Because, like, at a teenager, you you don't know, like, a lot. Like, you know some things, but you don't know, like, what's ahead. Like, you don't, you don't think that much. But you don't think that much as a teenager? Huh? You don't think that much as a teenager? Well, I'm not a teenager, but I guess so. <laughs> so, 
So when you're you're below teenager like you are, you don't think at all? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I thought that was funny. She's getting but, it. But once you're a te once you're in a, like, because once you're a 20, that's when you're an adult. You're more, you have more knowledge. You're more mature. You're, you're stronger, I guess. Um, and once you're at war, you know what to do. Like, because, because they train to get to war. Okay, very good, Benjamin. Riette, what do you think these stages are? Do you have a, an idea, young lady? What do you think the stages of life are and why the Lord is choosing this particular stage to be counted for the military? Riette? Well, I think the first stage is being newborn or like growing, growing in the womb and then being born. And then you start... You start walking, you start being spoon fed, you know, like you start walking, and you start crawling, I mean, and then you start walking, and you just start being able to feed yourself, and then you start, you start getting bigger, and then you know more, and then you start learning, and you go to school. Starting at preschool though, and then to kindergarten, and then moving up, and then, then you then you start your childhood, and then you learn how to do things, do things, and then now as you get older, you become a tween, which you could be uh, 11, 10, 11, 12, or twelve, and then, and then. And you get older, and then you can probably learn how to maybe do how to maybe like cook some food, and you start doing chores around the house, and then and then when you begin being a teenager, then you start doing things a little bit more advanced, and then and then you know how then you can start making making a few choices like a few grown up choices and then and then you can like save up money save money and then when you are in it's still in your early teens then you get when you get like 15 or so then then you can like probably throw a party or something well a good one like not not getting drunk and stuff how old are you gonna be to throw this party well usually people do it at around like some people do it young like what where do we see that yeah a lot of people do it what kind of party like Maybe yeah, eating donuts and chips. A donut party? Yeah, <gasps> or something like that. I think I'm Arlene. Gonna... I think Arlene is coming to the donut party. Yeah, <laughs> the Boston donut party. Boston cream pie. All right. So, what I want you to understand today, everybody, is that and that was good, Riet, is that there's going to be stages in your life. Stages, you know, one of the stages that you're in right now is your school stage. That's your only responsibility, your real responsibility right now is school. Because you're in, you're out of school a lot longer than you're in school, unless your name is Miss Consuelo Dinnerman. Okay? She's perpetually in school. <laughs> All right. So, you, right now, your only responsibility is to learn be able to do things to get skills okay once you get to be 20 what the Lord is saying you're counted for the census you're counted as an adult so there's going to be more responsibility everybody say responsibility everybody say responsibility
okay? As you get older, you're going to get more responsibility, okay? And then as young men grow into uh, into older men, you're in the, in the military, you're counted for the military at 20 years old, so you can go defend your nation, defend your mothers, defend your your older, your grandparents, defend your sisters, defend the land, because you're, you're at 20, your body is going to be changing, okay? Men, boys that are going to be men, your body's going to be changing greatly when you're at 20. It's one of the strongest times in your life is going to be from 20 to 25 or 20 to 30 is when you're really going to be one of the strongest parts of your life. You're going to be the most physically fit, okay? Now, how old was Yaakov when he got married? No, Yitzhak. How old was Yitzhak? I'm sorry, Yitzhak. Okay, let's see. And let's see, we got two hands. Okay. Lev, how old was Yitzhak? 40 years old. 40 years old. 40 years old, okay. So God let him wait till he was 40 to be married. And that's a really, how old was Moshe? Moshe? When he when he went into the desert, Ben, how old was Moshe when he went into the desert? Um, how old was he? How old was he, Ben? Um, wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I think he was 40. You think he was 40 or maybe it was 42 or 38 yeah, or something? I think he was 40. You think he was 40? Are you sure he was 40? Yes, I'm sure, sure, sure. What do you think, Leia? I'm thinking 42. 42? No, 40 as well. I think 40 as well. Are you so, sure? Yeah. What do you think there, Mia? He was forty years old when he when he when he left Egypt and ran into the desert. That's really old. When he ran to Midian. What do you think, Victoria? How old was Moshe when he left Egypt? Victoria. She's not listening. Okay, we'll skip Victoria. All right, so yeah, Moshe was 40, so then he's going to be talking to the sheep for 40, for 40 years, okay? So there's going to be stages in your life, and God has a plan, okay? So sometimes you like to rush it, okay? Listen up, children. Sometimes you want to grow up, and you're not ready to be an adult. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that, Okay? There's some things that you can do and some things that you can't do. It's called responsibility, okay? Your mind and your body have to be together. And a lot of times when you're teenagers, you think you can do things, but your your body may be able to do something, but your mind is not ready, okay? So the wisdom of Jehovah, the wisdom of Jehovah said that when you're 20, you can now be in the military because you're strong enough. Okay, let's move on to our next lesson. So there's going to be stages in your life. Okay, now everybody, 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 do the alley. Since Allie's not here, we'll do the alley. Everybody, do the alley. Ah, do the stretch. Ah, Lila, stretch. Lila, stretch. Stretch, Lila. Stretch your hands in the air, Lila. Ellie Shayla, stretch your arms up high. Put your hands in the air like you just don't care. Woo! All right. Come back now. And everybody go. Okay. Now we're going to be talking about some of the equipment. Okay. We're talking about making certain things. Okay. Well, let's skip that. Come back to that. There's going to be something called a 
breastplate on F5. Okay? Let's see. Uh, Mia, read the sentence. I don't know why the... So read uh, 39, 11, 12, and 13. Okay. A green feldspar, a sapphire, and a diamond. The third row, an orange zircon, an agate, and an amethyst. And the fourth row, a barrel, an onyx, and a jasper. They're mounted in same of... Okay, uh, what I see is it's at the bottom here. It's there at the bottom. Okay, they put in the four rows of stones. The first row was carnelian and topaz and emerald in the second row. Okay, for some reason, my PDF got messed up. Okay, so let's take a look at the stones. Okay, has anybody, has everybody ever seen these stones before? Okay. So these are the stones that are on the on the breastplate, okay? The really interesting type of stones. They have different colors. Okay? Let's see. Let's pick our favorite ones. Okay? So we got all these colors. Okay? Uh let's see. Ellie, do you have a favorite color? Which one is your favorite, Ellie Shava? Mm -hmm. Shava, which one is your favorite? Yeah. One? What? Right. Yeah. Okay, let me get my little marker. Like this okay. one. So Ellie likes <laughs> this one down here. Boink. Boink. Okay. Uh Arlena, which one's your favorite? Which one's your favorite color? Do you have a favorite one of these colors? I I know which one and I like. Which one? Tell me. That one. Yeah. yeah. Which one? I love that one. I can't that... see what you're pointing to. I, I like the diamond. You like the diamond. Arlena likes this one here, everybody. Ben, what's your favorite color? Ooh, I like all of these, but... Um... I really like sapphire. Ooh, Ben likes the sapphire blue is for boys. Leia, which one do you like the best? Um, I like amethyst. Amethyst, the purple? Yeah. That looks like, that looks like a big mouth. Wow. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait. What? Go ahead, Ben. No, wait. No. It's okay. What? Aria, yeah. do you have a favorite one, Aria? Do you have a favorite color, Aria? I think I know. Which one's your favorite? You have to pick. Which one? This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Which one? Which one? Oh, you like the... The barrel. The barrel. The one at the bottom, the green one, the barrel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aria likes the barrel. Okay, let's see who's next on my screen. Let's see. Hadassah and Yeshua. Hadassah and Yeshua. Which one do you guys like? I like... Which one? The purple one. This one over here? This one here? Yes. Okay, Yeshua, which one do you like? I like the jasper. The jasmine? Okay. Yeah, jasmine. I like the jasmine. Jasmine. Where's the jasmine? Jasper. Oh, the jasper. You like the jasper? Oh, that's an interesting color. I like. I don't like the shoes. I like. I like. I don't want the shoes, Rabbi. Nana, which one do you like, Nana? These ones. The this one? This, this, that. The car carnelian. Carnelian. Oh, the orange one. Nana, you like the orange one? This one up here? Yes. Oh, that's good. <laughs> All right, let's see. Me and Lev. Me and Lev. All right, I have three. Okay. Um, I like the 
three I like, but you the one have three favorites. You gotta have one favorite. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'll tell you this way: uh, the amethyst is my favorite. The favorite is my favorite. The onyx has a nice black color, which I like it, and the carnelian. The carnelian looks interesting. It looks like liquid. Like. Amethyst. I like. Oh, so you like the amethyst? You like the purple? Boink. 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 And the yeah. I like the topaz, the emerald, and the sad fire. Sad fire. Sad fire. <laughs> okay, sad. topaz. Okay, let's see who's next. Okay, Sinclair's. Uh, Riette, which is your favorite? I like I like the green feldspar the way that it looks so smooth but I also like the topaz okay so green feldspar is your favorite Marley carnelian you're an orange person it looks more red to me well, you might want to fix the color of your monitor uh, Adrian yeah, I'm going for diamond. And what's funny about diamonds is that you can also get them in red, yellow. You can get them in a whole bunch of colors. Although pink. red is, yeah, pink. Red is, is the green? rarest. Though. Okay, can I choose diamond? Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Diamond has so many colors that it can. Is be. there green? Okay. It's more like tinted glass. Like tinted glass. Okay. All right. Uh, Victoria, can you see this or no? I got it to work. I got the internet from my house. It wasn't working. Now I got it. Okay, can um, you see the picture? Wait, I'm trying to get it here. Yes, now I can. Oh wow, they are so pretty. Uh, my favorite is the emerald. Oh, Victoria likes the emerald. That's a that's a beautiful color. All right, what yeah. what would be fun is what if you can with your moms today look up your favorite and find out what characteristics what makes it green what makes it blue what makes it orange what makes the sapphire blue what makes the diamond look like that okay what makes the feldspar look like that look it up and see what characteristics your favorite color um, does Okay, and then tomorrow bring some of the characteristics to class. Okay, look up. So if you like topaz, where do you find topaz? Okay, is topaz hard or is topaz soft? Okay, or what makes it blue? What chemicals are in the stone that makes it blue? And why why does the topaz look blue in the emerald? Look green. You know, isn't it and then look the amethyst down here is purple. What makes it purple? Okay. So look up what makes your favorite color, like why it's you know, purple or down at the bottom, like Yeshua liked the Jasper. What makes it that color orange? And you know, what makes the onyx black? Okay. And then look up what some of these things are used for. Like, what do we use sapphires for? What do we use sapphires for? Okay. What is an emerald used for besides just looking beautiful? Can it be used? Can it be used or anything? People are just bothering me this morning. Okay. Robo calls. Okay. So what is an emerald? What is a carnelian used for? Okay, like you know, get, like what do I use a carnelian for? Okay, so that's what uh, Marley. You're going to be looking up. What's it? What's a carnelian used for? Like why is it orange and not blue? Why is it not purple? What? What? Where is it found? Can we find carnelians all around the globe, or can we find diamonds all around the globe? Can we find emeralds all around the globe, or are they found in certain areas? Okay, so look up this. It'll be fun. It's like, that's my favorite, so I'm going to go 
hunting treasure. Everybody say, I'm going to go hunting treasure. I'm going to go find me an emerald in the land of the Emerald Islands. I'm going to go to Ireland and find me an emerald island. No. Are they found there? Are they found in Ireland? No, I don't know. Like, where do we find topaz? Would we find it on every continent? Would we find it in Africa or Asia or or Europe or South America or South America? Okay. Where do we find feldspar? Okay. And the other interesting part, that these were all on the breastplate of Aaron. These are all the, the stones of the children of Israel. Like, where did they get all them? And they're wandering around the desert. Okay. Where did they get all them? Okay. Are they all found in Egypt, where we were in Egypt and we left Egypt? Are they found in certain parts of the world and no other parts of the world? Okay. It's an interesting thing. So we're gonna be we're gonna be looking that. Now we're gonna go back to the belt of truth. We got a few minutes. Okay, we're gonna look at the bottom of the screen here because my my PDF got messed up. Okay. So here, Lev, read verse five on the bottom of the page here, and then we'll go to the next page. The decorated belt on the vest used used to fasten it was the same kind of workmanship and materials. Gold, blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, and finely linen twisted linen twined linen as as Adonai had ordered Moshe. Okay, now we got a belt. Why do you think we have to have a belt to hold the breastplate? Why do you think at the bottom God has a belt of truth around the waist? What do you think, Yeshua? What's this belt? Why do you think the Yeshua, the high the Kohen Haggadol, has got a belt around his waist? Uh, the breastplate for that to move. <laughs> Well, they just use rope or something. They, they need the belt of truth to hold it real tight. But it doesn't, but it doesn't go away. And it doesn't fall on the floor, but it doesn't break. Do you think, do you think the belt looked like this? Or is it something else the belt looked like? It looks like something else, but... It's real strong. It's what? It's real strong. It's real like strong. a ribbon around. A ribbon. Okay, so it's real strong. Hi, right, Ben. Do you think the belt? Do you think the belt looked like this, Ben, or does it look like something else? It looked like something else. I don't think it looked like that. You don't think it had a really cool belt buckle and said, "Ha ha ha." The belt of truth. No, I think that 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 belt was was like I think it was just like a normal belt. You just think it was a normal belt. It wasn't like a Batman that had all the equipment on the Batman belt. No, I think it was like that kind of belt, but just like not the truth. Like, I don't think he said that. So what kind of belt do you think this is? Do you think it's plastic, leather? Uh, it had to be like leather. So you think the belt around the high priest's uh, waist was leather? Yes. You do? Okay. So Ben thinks it's a leather belt. Yeshua thinks it looks like something else. What do you think, Riet? What do you think the belt looks like? Well, it looks a lot like plastic to me. No, the real one. The real one? What do you think the real one was? Plastic? Oh, was the real leather? one. Oh, yeah. This, I think it was probably like gold or. Yeah. You think it had the words truth on it? Like, you know, like 
like a superhero's belt that had all these tools on it, you know, like Batman's super, you know, his super belt. No, but if it did have truth on it, it would be in Hebrew. Yes. And how do you say truth in Hebrew? I don't know. You don't know much Hebrew. Does anybody know how to say truth in Hebrew? Mia, how do you say truth oh, in Hebrew? Emmet. Emmet. Everybody say Emmet. Emmet. That is the word truth because Yeshua said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. The Derek, the M, have Emmet, and the Chai. The truth is Emmet. Emmet. Everybody say truth is Emmet. Okay, Emmet. Ellie, say Emmet. Yes, Ben Jamin? I know how to say salvation in Hebrew. How do you say salvation in Hebrew? Pizza. No. Yeshua. Oh, very good. Everybody say salvation. Yeshua. Okay, so here. Now, why are we looking at this? Okay, because let's go to the bottom of the page. All right, uh. Riet, read Ephesians 6, verse 14. Therefore, stand, have the belt of truth buckled around your waist, put on righteousness for a breastplate. So, Riet, we gotta stand and we all have to have this belt of truth? Yeah, I think it, I think it means we have to be truthful. What do you think there, Marley? What? What's Marley? He asked if you were going to. What do you think? I'm not thinking much today, she says. Thinking is not an option today. I'm still tired from yesterday. Her brain has not turned on yet. Uh, she's still in boot up mode, huh? Yeah. Gotta get a new processor this morning there. Yeah, it's, um, it's extremely hard to get her out of bed, I tell you. I'm well, a maybe sleeper. she needs to go to bed at 7 a.m. I'm a heavy sleeper. She was literally born in a bed. Well. No wonder. No wonder, okay. Well, that's pretty good. Maybe she should go to bed at 7 o'clock tonight. Then you'll be raring to go in the morning. Trust me, she'd probably fall, wake up at about 8 o'clock the next day. Well, let's try it. Go to bed tonight at, at 8, 8 p.m. tonight, uh, Marley. So You've got days that she wakes up after noon. Okay, well, we're talking about the belt of truth. We're not talking about waking up because we got to start our day off with the Word of God. Okay? Now, Leia, why do you think do we really have to put a belt on? Leia, that has the word truth on it, Leia? Um, well, God said it. Yeah. Well, that's where the call name, right? It's where the call name. Well, here in Ephesians, is he talking about this, the call name? Well, I don't think a physical... Oh, he's on. Therefore, stand, have the belt of truth buckled around your waist. Put on righteousness as a breastplate. Oh, okay. I see um, what it's talking about. So we need a big, big belt buckle. Well, not physically, but spiritually, we have to have a belt of truth. What is spiritually a belt of truth, Leia? Um, Why are you confusing me? It, it would be like the, the helmet of salvation. Like, the helmet of salvation allows us to see what's right and what's wrong. So maybe truth could, the belt of truth could be telling him, like, he's lying, but he's not. So do you think we got to put an actual belt on? Like everybody should, no, no. should give out these superpower belts at the congregation. You come in for a spot, and everybody gets a, No, not. The belt of truth. Not wearing one Please. physically, but spiritually. Um, like a belt of truth. 
What is the belt of truth? Does it the just hold up your pants? No, the belt of truth is um a belt of truth. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it could it could help us to protect us from Satan. Hmm. Other people around us. Okay, let's see. Mia's waving her. She's waving her fingers. It doesn't really mean to to have have a belt buckled around your waist. Like it's not that everyone can wear a belt all the time. Wouldn't that be cool though? Uh, it's like a team. Everybody come in. Everybody's got this black belt of truth with a big belt buckle around their waist. Everybody in the storm ministry get their uniform on. It'd be like a baseball team or a football team or a basketball team. I think it would be gold instead of black. A gold belt, Le uh, Mia? I uh, mean, Lev? I think it would be gold instead of black. Cause gold, black with, instead of gold with blue lettering for boys and gold with pink lettering for girls? I don't like pink. You don't like pink? What's wrong with you? Are you a girl? Yes, but for some reason, I don't like pink. What's your, okay, so what color is your belt going to be? Gold. With what kind of lettering? Uh, what do you want? want the no, no, like, see, it mentioned the belt's gold. Truth, the word truth, the truth can't, the word truth can't yeah. be just all gold to be a pink, yeah. What color would you want the word truth to be on it? I think I would just want to leave it white. All right, so no. gold and white? Okay. So anyway, what it means to have the belt of truth buckled around your waist, this is spiritually. It doesn't mean you're supposed to have a belt on all the time. I'm pretty sure some people will probably take it that way. Anyway, what it means is that to have the knowledge of truth, in other words, God's, God's laws and um in your mind have that surrounding you protecting your mind all the time like not just to memorize the commandments or memorize all the 613 laws what what in what i mean by this is to understand them like yeah you can memorize something all you want and you can you can get a good grade on a test but you memorized all the answers but the 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 point but the but the point is, did you really understand it? You have to understand God's word, um, in a form like something we don't understand. We'll be well, we ask, or we do some research on it, on that part in the Torah. Like, like um, let's say um, God said something. And it's not weird, but then you look in the Hebrew and then it says something else. Like, um, that's what I mean. Learn to un research, learn to research and understand about the scriptures. Then you'll be able to have a further meet, a further learning. You, you'll have um further knowledge about that one passage in scripture. So how does uh, how does that relate to putting on your belt of truth? You're protecting yourself with it, so that when you're around, when you're in the world. Um, it'll protect you. The truth. What'll protect, what protect you? The truth will protect you. The truth of it, not this belt? Doesn't have like a force field around it? Nope. It's just a plain belt. Well, truth has a force field around it. The word of God is truth, and it has a force field around it. Everybody put on their belt of truth. <laughs> Make the noise. <laughs> when you say the Ten Commandments, when you're putting on your belt of truth. <laughs> oh! Be like the, the Hulk. Okay? Everybody be the Hulk. All right. It's time to the end of the class here. Okay. Let me do this and get my screen on with everybody big and proofy on my screen here. Let me do this over here. All right. Who wants to sing? <laughs> All right, Yeshua, close us in prayer.
Thank you all for this day. Please help us for we learn more of it, for we obey and that we play nice and we obey our parents and don't fight and not be a seed of discontent and we should say amen. Alright everybody, shalom there, Yildadim.